game. Both teams' first official game of the year. Here, I'm excited for this one. Uh, both teams showing up at open, MQC College Opener, which was an unofficial game. game which was an unofficial tournament. RPI showed up very impressively. Yeah, a couple of wins for them. UVM as well, a couple of unwin for them against Emerson. And both teams looking for a big season right now. RPI looking for their looking to win their first MQC title this year. Here they have come just close about two or three times. They're looking for that first one. While well, they take on UVM, last year's D2 champion and in this matchup. Mo, what you looking for out there from both teams for the first game? Oh, I'm looking for some new players from RPI to show how the development is going this year. It's early in the season, but it should show some potential. Agreed, agreed, agreed. I think they'll see a lot of potential in this one. See what comes out of it. it both teams getting on those starting lines. We'll get you those starting lineups in a second. A lot of new players still working on making sure we learn all these new players and all their names and such. That's I believe for RPI at Keeper is Nick Malzone, number 12. At Chasers, Jason Almquist, William Song, and Ong. And I believe, I think that's Angela Constantine. In. At Beater, it's Kat Stochel. And Sean Shahi. For UVM, M. On the starting line, I believe you see Richie Abbott with Megan Brown at Beater. That is not mom. Yeah. No. What's this no, mom. Okay. Mom. Over there. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't have story. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Yeah. This coming there is the. <laughs> <laughs> the <table's> right. <laughs> sorry. For you, VM. We have, <laughs> we have Richie Abbott and Megan Brown <laughs> starting at Peter. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? One? That's the old player. That's great. Uh, Chaser, I see. You're there. Eli Reams. Teddy Duato. I think that's Aaron Fitzgerald. At <coughs> keeper is Shay Martin. The coin toss happened, and, and, and RPI won the coin toss. They're going to start with bludger control in this game. And UVM's going to start with the quaffle and the bludgers. Uh, for those hearing at home, if you can't hear me or Mo, please let us know so we know oh, if we need to speak up or not. Otherwise, our head ref of this game is Chris Lacombe. We're about to get started. Get ready for the broom sub. Uh, eventually. <laughs> there it is. And there's the brooms up. An interesting different start to Quidditch this season with the coin toss where we just sort of start up from the uh, keeper zone lines. UVM is going to bring up the quaffle early in this game. First pass is going to go behind the hoops. It's going to be immediately intercepted by RPI. Hey. That was clear Olmstead, not Andrew Constant, who jumped on that ball. Immediate turnover there, and now RPI starts with it. Nick Malzone going to take the quaffle down the left side of the field. Malzone over to Almquist. Almquist back to Malzone. Malzone looking to make a move. There's a beat in front from Shahid. Malzone shot. He scores. Easy first goal for Nick Malzone. His first goal of the day and first goal of the year. The score is 10 0 RPI. Malzone nice and patient, easily able to make that goal happen. It's a good luck. Nice patience. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And we're going to go to our second next possession here, UVM. They do have ledger control with Richie Abbott and Megan Brown. Shane Martin with Quaffle trying to hand it off to Eli Reeves. Couldn't handle it, but Reeves does pick up Quaffle. And Reeves, Reeves crosses the midline. That is a reset. Resets happen in, when you cross the midline that one time. Reeves, though, holding Quaffle top of the zone. Flanked by beaters. Reeves passing behind to Duato. Duato beat immediately. Malzone's going to pick up. He's looking to run in, and down the field. He crosses midline. He's going to pass one. Oh, and he came off broom as he ran past us. Reams, and it's going to be a turnover. UVM ball. Score still 10 to nothing. RPI running a really high zone, or a really high, actually a man defense, really, really high up, up near the midline. They're just daring UVM to make a play right here. Ball right. Ball right. 
interesting look. If it goes well, it's really good for fast break. There's an interception from Olmstead. Just scripts it away a, from Indorado. Indorado gets beat by Stocks. Ba Quaffle back over or to my zone. It's exactly what you're looking for from that type of high defense. The interceptions go well, but if they get past you, it can be rough. Absolutely. Now, RPI looking to try to get blood control. William Song has Quaffle deep behind. Pass over to Olmsted. Olmsted immediately beat by Abbott, and UVM gets the turnover. UVM has been able to keep Bludgeon Control this whole game. It slowed this RPI pace down to a crawl. Walk over to Kenny Duato at half field. Duato with Megan Brown on next to her. Subs coming in. It's Carter Boudreau for UVM. UVM 100% Bludgeon Control so far in this game. Duato. Just taking it slowly down the left, and Olmstead's gonna go for the tackle. Olmstead comes off broom. Duato drops her broom as she dodges the beat, and it's gonna be William Song with the quaffle, hands it back to Malzahn. Clear, wrong hook. Clear, clear. <sighs> go right, go right, go right. Malzahn. Looking to make a play here. Pass over to Almquist. Almquist gets beat. Ball is going to be a turnover. Megan Brown on the beat. UVM is dominating this beater game. I don't think I've seen an RPI beat happen in this game. This Ten, score is still 10 0. Carter Boudreau with Quaffle. Boudreau crosses the midline. Katie Forsyth coming in. As well as Sydney Saran for UVM. Boudreau passing behind the hoop to Forsyth. That pass goes deep behind the hoops and wide. It's going to be a turnover, and Malzone's going to take it away. Malzone's going to look immediately to jog up the field. Malzone really quick with this quaffle. Every single time he gets it, he's looking to run every time. He just needs some beater spirit to make that happen. RPI looking to start their next offense. William Song. Song takes a shot. It's blocked by Boudreau. Back out to Omquist. Over to Malzone. Malzone looking to drive. He's covered. Song with the kick. Finds Omquist. Omquist looking for anything. Omquist looking to drive. Omquist around the back. Omquist shot. It's good. Jason Omquist. Nice little flip shot around the hoops. 20 nothing RPI. Nice little possession there, Mo. Sure was. That was. <laughs> it sure of, was. <laughs> not a lot of beater support, but they got there in the end. <laughs> they, they, they got some beater support eventually, <laughs> and it worked out well. commentary we got there. All right, next possession coming for UVM. Carter Boudreau slowly crossed the midline. He does have to advance a little bit forward here. Richie Abbott just looking to clear every beater in his path. Boudreau over to Forsyth. Shahid puts pressure. Beat is missed. Pass into the hoops. There's a wrapper from Almquist. Still trying to make something happen, and it's the ball is loose on the ground. Nick Mozone's going to pick it up and look to run, but isn't able to get anywhere with it. Looking at two beaters there, it's a good idea to slow down. Yeah, Ryan Mazzone almost made that goal happen, but RPM swarmed him and wouldn't let him move. Again, UBM still with control. Malzone over to Almquist. Almquist. Back to Olmstead. Olmstead. Back to Malzone. Malzone. Takes a shot. No good. Misses low. 20 nothing still score, but RPI may have control here. Shahid's got it. Shahid dodges a beat, but Megan Brown's going to chase it down. Richie Abbott's got a bludgeon behind the hoops. He's going to get beat. Castocho gets beat. And RPI is going to get bludgeon control for the first time in this game. And the Quaffle goes that far behind the hoops. We can watch that through the play and then shift back, okay? Yeah. Mm. All right, for the first time this game, RPI has bludger control with a nice little play that ended up on the RPI hoops from Shahid and Stocho. Megan Brown beats out Shahid. Richie Abbott with a nice catch beats out, out Stocho. Here comes Carter Boudreau. Omquist makes a big wrap, brings down Boudreau, but Boudreau back to his feet, looking to drive again. Malzone looking for the tackle. He brings down Boudreau, but Boudreau breaks it. He keeps going, his shot blocked by Omquist. Omquist trying to dive on it, and it's going to be RPI Quaffle. Great defense from RPI. Great defense there. Omquist able to get that shut down. Kaylee Chilik coming into the game for RPI. UVM was able to get budget control out of all of that. Omquist with Quaffle. Over to Olmstead. 
Malzone. Malzone, deep past the song. Pass goes high. Well, Song's got it still. His shot blocked by Boudreaux. And Boudreaux's going to dive on the quaffle. And Boudreaux's getting his drip by Omquist, but Boudreaux's the keeper, so Omquist right now is going to be the, I believe, either set back to hoops or carded for this. You can't touch the keeper while they're in the keeper zone. Yes. Right here. A huge, wow. unfortunate event for UVM. Carter Boudreaux came off of room. It means Jason Walkers immediately starts with this quaffle basically next to the hoops with a chance to score. Great hustle play there by Jason. <laughs> Poor Saif, a little early on that play, but I like the hustle. Omquist, easy goal, 30 nothing. Great hustle from Jason Omquist to make that play happen. 30 nothing is the score. Staying in that play long enough to hear that the keeper had come off room and be there for the ball is good. That is absolutely, I agree with that, Mo. And so does Eric Berglund. Eric Berglund, I agree. Mo is electric on the mic. <laughs> All right, Carter Boudreau. Oh, bringing Quapo downfield right in the center of the field. RPI, again, no blood control. Mary Babb makes a beat with Isabel Martin in front. Martin clears out social. There's a no budger live. Here comes Boudreaux. Boudreaux fakes. Boudreaux shot no good as Malzone put a big hit on Boudreaux. And Kaylee Chu is going to start with this quaffle. Malzone, great step up to make that hit. New beater coming in for RPI. It's Jessica Abazia, the captain of this team. One of them. Shahid makes a beat. RPI looking for some pleasures. That shot is no good from Song. Omkus going to chase it down again. Omkus is all hustle right now. Omkus trying to flip it over to Malzone. He finds Malzone. And Malzone wow, scores. What Jason a play. Nick Malzone. Once again, staying in that offense pays off. Beautiful goal there from Nick Malzone and Jason Omkus. Nice little pairing from the two of them. Score is 40-0 RPI. Jason, how are you doing? Jason Olmquist just finds those loose balls, I swear. He's just... been finding them all day in this game. All right, all right. UVM looking for their next offensive possession. Emma Pollen into the game, as well as Riley Massone. Boudreau looking to drive, gets past Olmquist, blocks a bludger from Abasia. Boudreau gets around one, hit shot, no good. But Mason's going to pick it up. Mason's tackled by a Olmquist. Now Poland trying to pick up Quaffle with Song covering. Song's going to strip the ball. And Kaylee Chilik is going to jump on it. And it's going to be RPI ball. UVM has gotten so many good no blunder tries that they're almost scoring on each possession. But they just have been hitting the post. Just low on two shots there. It's unfortunate. All right, Malzone looking to make something happen. Abazi is going to get out of the tackle from Martin. Malzone looking to drive immediately. Malzone shot. It's good. Mid-range from Malzone, 30 points for the new rookie from RPI. And the score is 50 nothing. Uh, UVM making some subs here. Emma Poland with Quaffle. We need a keeper headband in the game. There's the keeper headband. There we go. Uh, UVM not, no longer with bludgeon calls, really hurting them. Abazia with a really high beat, and it works as every bludger is now on their side of the field. RPI, that's William Song making a hit here. UVM's beat. William Song's looking to run immediately now, and he's got nothing in front of him. William Song's gone. Easy goal for Will Song. Um, 60 nothing RPI. Couple subs coming in, and it's Adi Ojo. Adi Ojo for RPI at keeper. We have some subs on the other side as well. There's a beat there from Mary Babb. Richie Abbott makes another beat. Eat, eat on Danielle Di Tomoso. Oh, drive coming in, and and Ojo just gonna take it away. Ojo is a keeper. Can't get beat there. Blocks it anyway. Good for him. Ojo getting wrapped up. He's just gonna break that tackle pretty easily. Richie Abbott is a game changer for UVM. He came in and immediately changed some things with Mary Babb. That's a big pair for them. All right, Danielle Zitomoso in the game with Jessica Bezia. Uh, beater Ojo, Tremple, Chilik at the waffle position, as well as Estrada. Tremple driving around the edge. Tremple shot. It's good. Steven Tremple, easy goal. Just goes right around the edge, gets the shot, and it's 70-0 RPI. 
RPI does not need Bludgeon Control in this game to score, and they've been doing it constantly. Although Basie has found a way to get it. UVM with some subs. Shane Martin back at keeper. Richie Martin, Aaron Fitzgerald at beater. Emma Poland with Quaffle on the left side. She just crossed the midline. Poland covered by Chilik. They're going to use a reset here. Shea Martin <laughs> passing over to Reams. Tremple trying to take it away. Loose ball on the ground. Tremple's going to get beat. It's going to be an easy pickup from Reams. He's got to be careful about crossing that midline. That's awfully close, though. Good job keeping it on this half, though. Reams. Looking to drive on Trample. Trample's just going to wrap him up, not let him move. Trample's got an easy wrap here. Tomosa's going to make a beat. Poland shot. No oh. good again. UVM has hit the post, I think, five times in this game. And a lot of beats in the open field. Richie Abbott misses a beat on a base hit. There's no players. And Ojo's going to start running. He gets past Tuana. He's going to look for the pass over to Trample. Trample looking to drive. Drives past one, drives past another. Trample scores. Big boy going all the way. And still both unmanned bludgers on RPI's side of the field. Eight. UVM still does not have a bludger. Absolutely. UVM has to find a way to get that bludger, get a bludger back. 80 nothing to score. Richie Abbey just slowly working his way down the field to go pick up that last bludger. The sign of the uh, newer players here. Bludger staying on the ground for so long. Poland with Kowafel. She looks to cross the midline. Abbott gets beat in the RPI defensive zone. Poland blocks a bludger. Trample driving on Poland. Pass over to Duwata. She can't handle it. Ojo chases it down. There's no bludgers back. Ojo is beat, but there's still no bludgers back for UVM. And Trample is seizing, and he's going down the field. Looking to go coast to coast. Pass Poland. Pass Martin. Pass Duwata. Score. Stephen Trample. Hat trick for him. 90-0 the score. Yeah, it's a good beater play there. UVM attempting to get control back from RPI, but RPI maintains it through some good beats from Jess Abizia. has definitely been the game changer for RPI. She's really changed how they're playing this beater game. Constantine coming into the game for RPI. Duana, covered by Constantine. Fitzgerald beats out oh, Constantine. Fitzgerald is beat. Trimple wraps up. Wraps the ball up. Loose ball on the ground. Forsyth and Trample fighting for it. There is a loose ball. There's a call on the field here. We'll see what the call is. We may have a head beat call here. Those are magnet ones if you want them. So they won't ever fall off, or they shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Rest still uh, deliberating here on the, uh, the new head beat rules instituted for player safety can be somewhat complicated. So we'll see what see this call is. You think it's a head beat call? I think so. There are new head beat rules. Basically, from what you can get the gist of, you can't hit a defenseless chaser in the head with a bludger, and you can and in you're in a situation with someone with the ball. You need to be at least six yards or six feet. I believe it's six. There's two fouls in the play. First, illegal contact, reckless, or reckless play, uh, RPI number 28, illegal head beat. That's a yellow card. That's going to be one minute in the box until UVM scores. Second is a warning for making ref calls to UVM. So it is going to be a yellow card for an illegal head beat on a bees, yeah. Uh, All right. It's going to be at a yellow card right here. Okay, stay here. You're actually going to be on this side of that cone. Uh, and a little further down so the live stream doesn't hit you. All right. Crash down. Is just a little bit further. Just scoot. Is on, uh, RPI. Right, just you're good. scoot you're good. until you're good. Just take a knee until we tell. Okay. Are you? All right. So Thank you. One minute or until you jam My rule the yellow card is a bludger and quaffle turnover. So it is a bludger and a quaffle turnover due to the foul. It is going to be... UVM ball. Reams looking to immediately drive. Goes around to the opposite end of the field. Dodges a tackle. Dodges a beat. Dodges another tackle. He's trying to do everything he can. Comes up. Broom. Oh, no. Yeah, we're going to get a contact from behind. And UVM's going to be up two players here. Another card here. Ojo, right here, right next to Jessica. 
So if, there, if yeah. DM scores on this play, okay. she's Anna. out of the box tonight. Okay. 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 So we got another yellow. Hey, okay. so uh, the no, so you have to release and then the keeper. Okay. Let's go. Beater gets released. The DM scores again. The beater. Ch uh, yeah, chaser, chaser. chaser now. He was keeping money from the NFL. Don't cry. Wait for your team. We got that down. Oh, over there. So a six on four for UVM here. Looking good for them to get their first goal of the game. Calls here from their sideline to be patient and wait for their uh, the rest of their team to come up the field. Oh, and the refs are resetting the ball back to keeper. So it is going to be UVM Quaffle here. Shane Martin with Quaffle around the half field line. It is a 4v6 here. And UVM's going to slow it down. They know they have the advantage. They're going to try to get their first goal this season. Richie, go! Richie, let's go! There's a beat on Constantine. Abbott gets beat. Forsyth wrapped up by Tremple. Loose ball. Forsyth still has it. Tremple gets beat. Forsyth just trying to get the ball to someone. Loose ball on the ground. Martin's going to jump on it here. There's a ton of beats by DeMoso here. Fitzgerald gets a bludger back to Abbott. It is an absolute craziness in the RPI keeper zone. All the UVM players are beat. And Stephen Tremple is going to come out with the quaffle. We're at the 15-minute mark. Di Tomoso gets beat. Trample gets beat. Constantine gets beat. Abbott's just beating everyone. There's another beat from Abbott. There goes Forsyth. Forsyth wrapped up by Trample. Reeves picks up Glover. Reeves scores the first goal of the game in the year for UVM. And the score is 90-10. to 10. Richie Abbott just took over that whole possession. That's some great beating there. All right, RPI with Quaffle, Ojo, center of the field, over to Constantine, Constantine to Tremple. Abbott won a bludger battle deep in the zone, Tremple looking to drive, gets past Reed, gets past Duana who misses the tackle, Tremple loses the ball, tries to hit it out to Ojo, Ojo picks up Ojo, easy little layup and score, just in the right place at the right time, 100 to 10. And a heads up play by Tremble to just sort of bat that ball toward the hoops. Oh, we got a whistle. Timeout. It is a timeout. Okay, Mo, Justin, come on out here. You're on camera with me. So, oh, we go six feet apart, six feet apart. So, great start to this first game. Score is 100 to 10 right now. RPI with the lead. Justin, your team, your, your, I don't know if you're still there. I, I'm an alum. I've you're an alum. Okay, your yeah. alma mater has looked really <laughs> yes. good in this game. What is the reason? What is the reason why RPI has been so successful? It's a lot of hustle, a lot of getting on loose balls. You know, we've seen now two, three, maybe even four goals just from RPI being able to jump on loose balls, find the open man, and put it put it through the hoop. And you know, on the reverse side, we've seen a lot of bad luck from UVM. A lot of shots that they barely missed despite good opportunities. Yeah, and that's a big key is is, is making those opportunities happen. Mo, well, for UVM. Um, for UVM right now, what is the key for them to get into this game yes. as we head into this minutes, mid-cap? 1930, 10 Second pass, maybe sometimes where they're, they're getting wrapped up and they're not able to get the ball to someone who isn't wrapped up and ready to score. Just, you know, that's something that you really got to work on. Uh, lots of people struggle with it. And once they've got that there, I think they're in a good place. Yeah, absolutely. That second pass is going to be key. We're going to be, this is our timeout intermission. I'm Harry Greenhouse. We're going to get ready to go back into this game. We're about just at 16 minutes. Let's head back around. There's the whistle. Let's get back into this game. UVM starting with the ball here. 16. Looking beautiful out there. 100 to 10 is the score right now. 16 minutes in. And as Mo said, UVM is starting with the quaffle. And bludger control is also with UVM here as Abbott and Fitzgerald are going to beat. Are going to sub out? So is Abasia. Abasia. Even though she did get a yellow card, she had an incredible shift in this game. She went out, she played really, really aggressively and made a lot of big plays. All right, UVM. 
bringing down the quaffle. Boudreaux. Got Martine and Brown in front. Tanner looks for a beat on Boudreaux, makes it happen. Tanner takes a bludger away from Martine, beats out Brown. And there goes Ojo down the field. Ojo looking to drive, gets past one, wrapped up, taken down hard by, by, by Master. But he came off room. Ojo's going to pick up Quaffle behind the hoops. There is going to be a foul. It's most likely going to be a, ra a tackle off room. Masson came off room when he made that hit on Ojo. Illegal physical contact. Contact from behind. UVM number 24. Mason, right here. We'll tell you when you're out. If they score, you can go right back to your hoops. Mason, twenty-four. Does yellow card? Do you know? So, if they score, touch the center hoop. Area phone just over. Whenever, whenever they come back in, you're up front. Yeah. So perfect. Right up room, touch the hoops. Yes, sir. We're either give you a minute or they score. Harry, do we have the whistle back? This phone just overheated. Oh, it did? Yeah. Let's go, go on! Harry, my phone has it. Sorry. My phone has it. Your phone has it. I have, I, 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 no, I still have, um... Laura, do you, there's, over there in those piles, there's a canopy. Can you go get the canopy? Yeah, you can also take my phone and... Go get it! Because it's popping. I'll keep talking here. So our RPI was able to score their 110 to 110 to 10. That ball is going to go off the hands to Ada. So Thomas is going to get beat. Ada is going to get the quaffle back over to RPI and seal it with quaffle. RPI looking to run. There goes Chilik down the field. Chilik over to Ojo. Ojo can't handle the pass. Ball goes behind the hoops. And there's going to be a call on this play. Legal physical contact. Contact from behind. UBM number 24. Second yellow card of the day for number 24. Couple passes, RPI has Quaffle, that's Ojo trying to get it. Ojo gets it back, back over to Strata, pass over to Chilik. Chilik shot, she scores! Beautiful goal from Chilik. You're aiming this guy. <laughs> yeah, I know, sometimes it just it leans goes. back on me, yeah. Okay. So right, if I pull too hard on this, it, that makes sense. Yeah. Not bad. Try, I'm trying to, trying to avoid it, but no, you're th good. thanks you're for good. pointing it out. You're good, I apologize. Yeah, you're good. We had a boundary call, so that's going to be a turnover that's going to be RPI Quaffle. Right, we're back here. We'll apologize for those issues. Those, our live stream phone did overheat. We're going to try to keep it hopefully cool here. We're going to get a canopy up so that it doesn't overheat next time as we get back into this game. Score is RPI 120, UVM 10. Chilik with Quaffle. We're at the 19 minute mark. Ojo with Quaffle deep on the right side. Ojo. So again, this recording again. Beautiful. So again, the score in this game is 120 to 10. The set score is 190. For those at home who do not know what set score is, set score is what happens is what is going to be the point that ends the game. So the the first team that gets to 190 points first is going to win this game. That is it is 70 points above of 
the current leading score of RPI is 120. So the current score, of course, is 190 E 210. RPI has as RPI has to score seven. The snitch is worth, I believe, 35. Mm-hmm. If, UVM has to score a lot more than seven yeah. and to come back in this one. Bit of an uphill climb. Right, grab that corner. We had to move back just a step. We had to move it back just a step. One, two, three. Thank you, thank you. All right, ready, mate? Ready? Oh, it's all you. Can I start from here? Yeah. Well, you can start right there at that cone. Crouch down and by that cone. No, they can sit down again. So... So we're going to get started. It's 10 seconds on the Seeker's release. When we count the end of 10, they're going to release from the box and go after the snitch. Cool. Wait. Waiting for that first whistle in this. Waiting for that whistle for the second half of this game to start. Here's the remount. Should be judging now as well. Oh, this is going to be so close. I'm going to say on that And there's the whistle. It's going to be RPI starting with Quaffle, Ham, and Anna. Can you count these two down? Yeah. Nine, ten, ten, eight, 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 seven, six, five, six, five, six four, four, three, one, two, one. The Seekers are released. Sean Patch is going to immediately beat out Megan Brown, and William Song is going to get the first look. Nick Malzone is looking to drive. Malzone getting past him. Past, looking to get past Poland. Malzone over Constantine. Constantine's shot is good, and it's 130 to 10. Six goals to go. William Song has a chance to get an easy snitch catch here, his first of his career. Carter Boudreau with Quaffle. He's at the midline. He's getting wrapped by Ojo. Boudreau gets past Ojo. Pass over to Fo- Forsyth. Forsyth tied up. Malzone now has Quaffle. Gets beat in the face from point blank range. And that's going to be a yellow card on Abbott. You cannot beat someone in the face anymore. Do we know how long I'm ringing that? You're amazing. Reams, you have to touch the center hoop and we can send you on the penalty, okay? Off broom. When we send you. In about 10 seconds. Once play restarts. Yeah. So we're going to see yes. what the call here is on this play. Malzone took that beat right off the face there. Most likely will be a card here. It is going to be a long talk. Abbott is the speaking captain of UVM, so I think they're just trying to figure out exactly what is the decided call. It is going to be a yellow card on Abbott for the illegal headbeat. Again, you can't do that. Headbeats are illegal due to safety concerns now. So now is going to start back with that quaffle. What's up, Justin? And now RPI is going to have a six on four as UVM currently has two players in the box for a brief second here. And another so, power play opportunity. Two, two six on fours in this game already. Like Not surprised. Ground, but one of them is going to be turned back over to uh, RPI beaters. Um, UVM, it looks like, has one there in the middle, maybe. Um, All right, there's the remount. Ojo's going to start with Quaffle. Ojo slows it down, gives it Malzone. And Malzone is going to look to drive. He slows it down. There's no bludges in front of him. Malzone. Faking, shooting, scoring. Malzone, again, mid-range, all day with him. His fourth goal of the day. Reams now served that first penalty. He's back. Rich, you got to wait. Sorry, red card was a release. Red card's not released on a goal. Red card's not released on a goal. His, his was time. His time, his time was up. His was time was up. I know, I'm telling him he's it. Because someone told him they're not. All right, so both penalties are going to be elapsed. The goal is going to let Abbott go, and the two-minute power play from Reams is gone as well. So both players are back into the game. UVM has Quaffle. Boudreaux slowly moving up the field. Song again getting open looks at the snitch, and he has not been able to make that catch happen yet. Sean Patch with budget control. Patch beats out Brown. Song looking to make something happen here. Boudreaux driving. His shot is high. It's going to go behind the hoops. It's going to go out of bounds. It's a turnover to... 
Who RPI? Song now with an open look at the snitch right out in front of us. He's not going to be able to make that catch happen there, right? It looks like Song is going to Song is going to sub. The score is 140 to 10. Malzone with Quaffle looking to drive. Got Fitzgerald right in front. Jason Fitzgerald. Kristen for a secret RPI. Yep. Malzone pass over to Constantine. Constantine gets wrapped up. Tries to find Ojo, but it's going to be intercepted by Drew Boudreau. But no, there's a loose ball on the ground. They get the ball somehow to Nick Malzone here for RPI. Malzone's going to drive. His little shot there is no good. Missed on that one. Omquist looking to try to get an open look here as UVM got the turnover. Omquist on the snitch. Not able to make that catch. Stochel gets beat by Abbott. Omquist with another look. And Abbott, oh, Omquist with a beautiful catch. That's going to be good. It looks very good. Yeah, I saw a thumbs up from the snitch there. That should be very easily good. Omquist, his first catch of the year. Second. First official. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't make the rules. <laughs> We're starting these ones, Jason. <laughs> so that one will count for the record book. <laughs> Assuming it's good, of course. <laughs> so it looks like the catch is good. Our head rep is going to check at, this score um, here. 23. I have to review. The catch is good. <laughs> The catch is good. The score is currently. Thanks, Ham. Oh God, sorry, Mo. The score is 175 to 10. We're at 23 minutes. Nice job, Max. Oh, that's in three minutes. Let's go. That's not bad. <laughs> Let's go. That's my record. So RPI needs two more goals it's, it's, to win this game. Good, UVM right? only needs 18. It's anybody's game. <laughs> Don't be rude. Uh, 175 to 10 right now. 190 is the set score. Or as Justin said, RPI two away. But Boudreaux's got Quaffle next to the hoops here looking to make a play. Boudreaux passing back out to uh, in, in Carrado. Back over to Boudreaux. He fakes. He looks to drive. He gets wrapped up by Malzone. He's brought down. There is going to be a yellow card here. It's most likely going to be some type of illegal tackle on Malzone. Yeah, it looked like he came in a little bit from behind there. Yeah, yeah, go for behind. Go for RPI number 12. So that is going to be a yellow card on Nick Malzone for a tackle from behind. So that is going to be a yellow card, Nick. You have to touch the hoop before re entering play. That's a yellow card number 12. Alright, there's going to be immediate sir. Restart a play. UVM takes a shot. It's no good. And RPI going to take get the quaffle back. It's Ojo. Oh, sorry. All right, Ojo now looking to bring quaffle up the center of the field. He's got beaters flanking. Sean Patch trying to clear one out. Can't make it. Stocho beats out Abbott. Pass behind the hoops to Sheelik. Sheelik looking to drive. Her shot, no good. Missed that's, wide. Uh, that's not Hustle for the ball. It's going to be Emma Poland who picks it up for UVM. Poland finds Boudreaux. Boudreaux. It's just going to slow it down. What's up, Mo? That's not Sheelik. That's um, zero. Claire. That's Claire Olmsted. My apologies. Thank you. Claire Olmsted couldn't finish that shot. UVM now with Quaffle. It's Eli Reams. Got Mary, he's got Mary Babb in front of him for the bludger. Abbott gets beat by Patch. UVM taking it Patch slow, beats dude. out Babb. Patch beats out Reams. And there goes Constantine. She's getting wrapped by Duana. Finds Ojo. Ojo looking to run. Ojo pass, pass Martin. Pass over to Olmstead. Olmstead shot. No good. It missed high. Malzone getting back into this play. His shot is good. Nick Malzone, another goal. RPI one away. Clear shot missing there by an unfortunate turn of the hoops. Alright, UVM looking to bring Quaffle up, looking for their second goal of the game. Shay Martin passes over Duato. Duato. Blocks a beat. Malzone looks for a hit. Can't finish it. Duato gets beat. Malzone picking up Quaffle. He's got Green in front of him. Nothing in his way. Malzone dodges a tackle. He scores, and that's the game winner. Nick Malzone oh, finishes it for RPI. But there is a whistle here, so we'll see if it is a good goal to end the game. An advantage call going this way. 
no idea. If the goal is good, it would be an RPI win, 195 to 10. The five, by the way, in the score at the end of the 190 is literally just to make sure there's no ties. There's no foul on the play. The goal by the RPI is good. And the goal is good and it is a 195-10 win for RPI. We're going to get a...